topic is important, not only important from the point of view of understanding what it is, from the point of view of also understanding how we can create our own MOOCs in our own university as well as in our own colleges, how we can just take it forward and have something which is even we can have exams, we can have studies online. So now this session, uh, I'll continue from where we left with a two minute of revision what we were doing. We were talking about MOOCs. We did types of MOOCs where there were three types of MOOCs, X MOOCs, and there were C MOOCs, and then there was hybrid MOOCs. Then we did the architecture of uh, MOOCs. So that's where we left right now. Sir, I'm... sorry to interrupt. I'm very sorry to interrupt. Yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, in the morning, I don't think I attended your session. I was in some other session, I think. Okay. Uh, uh, G, Shilpa, ma'am, you uh, are in gender, gender studies in the group. Mein rahe ji, ji, so, the link of link you can join group. Ko join kar sakte this is FIP4 program. Okay, 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 sir. Thank ji. you. Ji, sir, please carry on. Sorry for the interruption. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem. Uh, so participants, have had, let's have a look at the screen once again, because this is for revision. We are going to design MOOCs for our colleges very soon, and it will become necessity on part of management also. And you will be asked to make one for your own college. You can always take our help. You can always contact us for the help, for the platform that we can always do uh, the programming in. So we will. we are always ready to help on that aspect. So let me take you to the architecture of a well-known MOOC. So this is the architecture where there are six components and we started from uh, the first one. Educational resources will have to be generated and resources like your uh, course material, your online course material, your booklets and such kind of material will have to be generated for this kind of a launch of your online courses. Then we talked about interactions, where interactions would have been uh, would have to be there. Interactions here means imparting of knowledge. So just as I'm interacting with you, you're interacting with me. We are actually transferring information or knowledge between each other. So if you look at the session today also, I'm going to learn from you. You are going to learn from me. And I'm going to learn from the intellectuals that are present here. Like VC sir was here in the morning. We learned a lot in that discussion also. So it's a part of the ongoing process of learning. So educational resources we are going to develop. We'll see how we are going to develop for SWEM. These are in the slides that are about to come. Then we need to have interactions. We need to impart the knowledge now to the participants. And now I told you in the morning also, these participants are from various countries, from various backgrounds, different backgrounds. So it's a very big challenge. Also, there was one more challenge, like uh, the mental uh, power of the participants. Some are very quick learners, some are very slow learners. So it's always a very challenging task to develop courses for everyone who are so diversified in culture, in knowledge, in their, let's say, in their languages also. Someone knows Telugu, someone knows South Indian languages, someone knows North Indian languages, then someone is from China, someone is from, let's say, Portugal and all. So it's a vast uh, uh, audience that we have in our courses when we are designing such courses. Then the fourth component of this, as we discussed in the architecture, we need to keep a track of the identity of who is attending the courses. So a lot of uh, ethics uh, would have to go inside this. We'll have to mentor the students, the participants like Please don't give the ID and log in to other students. As I discussed in the morning also, it's a big problem that's happening. One of the students get enrolled and then he passes on the material to nine other students, 10 other students. So the purpose is lost. Like the organization which launched the course will lose money on this, will lose the pattern also and will lose the focus also. So identity management would have been, uh, would be there just as you have login password in Facebook, WhatsApp and everywhere. So similarly, we have login password facility should be there and we have to keep track of that. So these are the four components, one, two, three, four, five, 
an analytics, we'll have to learn from the analytics. We'll have to learn from the data. We'll have to see which part of the country will attract more courses, which part of the world would attract more courses, more certifications, so that we can focus on them. We can put advertisements in Syria. Syria is a wanton country, as we all know. So if we put up the advertisements there, there will be more enrollments. Like in my university, there are about 50 students coming from Syria for the short courses also, because it's a war-torn country. Similarly, if you <clears throat> popularize in Ethiopia, it's always in not that big country. So they will go for more registrations as compared to other countries. Whereas in India also, if you go for the smaller cities, they will definitely be interested in the programs which are going to be launched. So certification is the last one where finally at the end of the test or assessment that they, uh, the participant has given, he'll be awarded the certificate, six month certificate or a 15 days, uh, 30 day, whatever tenure you have chosen. As I said in the morning also, it's like having one ice cream from ice cream parlor. Here also you have a cache of uh, courses which from which you can choose one of the courses and uh, one most important point that we discussed in the morning also, it was like you will learn at your own pace. This is the best part about MOOCs. You are going to learn, you are going to study and learn at your pace. Like if you are slow, it will be slow for you. If you are fast, it will be fast for you. You can finish the course in 15 days also. Someone will take about six months to complete. So this was a part we were discussing in the morning. I'll come now to the slide which at which we stopped in the morning afternoon so now uh, let's be back on the slides after this brief uh, brush up what we did in the afternoon so this is one important component of MOOCs as I said characteristic component of MOOC interaction if you look at the blue rectangle Interaction in MOOCs is always a big challenge. Why? Because there are a large number of participants. As I said, in one of the courses we saw, there were thousands of students there enrolled for a particular course. Then unorganized discussions and questions. Now, when you are attending a MOOC or you're attending online course, you can always <coughs> have unorganized discussions and questions. Anyone can ask anything. Right now, I find just before you, after let's say half an hour, you can ask any question from me. I'll have to be prepared for that. So I just can't say, you are all wonderful teachers with wonderful of credentials, wonderful of results throughout. So net qualified and all, most of you are net qualified in this university. So you can ask any question from me. So I'll have to be prepared. So that's what I'm trying to say. A MOOC should be able to have unorganized discussions and questions, then conducted by course uh, teaching assistants, offline interactions with poor uh, peer groups also. Peer groups are your groups in which you are taking the courses. So when we say offline interactions, what do we understand by offline then? It's like, uh, I give you an example. I was doing something numerical and in the class, uh, we were having it online. And then after I gave a question, after two hours, when the class was over, I got a <clears throat> reply and I got the answer from the student who has solved the question. So these interactions are never ending interactions. As soon as they'll complete, they'll get back to you through WhatsApp or through your email or through whatever medium you are interacting, you get the response. So be ready for that. So this is these are the challenges of interaction in a MOOCs environment, as we'll discuss in future slides also. Then other components of the architecture, as I discussed, was identity management, assessment and evaluation. You will have to keep track of the identity, who's rolled in, who's logged in, uh, whether a correct person has done the login, whether the password is correct. You will have to keep a track of that. Then assessment evaluation will have to be done properly. Online examination versus offline. How will the exams be conducted for your MOOC course? proctored examination somewhere, someone will have to have have a look at you while you're taking the exam, whether it's the camera on or it's the um, hall examination where teacher supervisors are there. Then grading of a large number of assignments, you will have to do a grading of assignments. There are so many assignments that come up 
in your refresher course also or your orientation that you are doing you must be having assignments given and on the basis of those assignments you will get the marks plus there would be a test towards the end and you will get the certificate finally so peer assessment and evaluation these are all components of moves which will have to be taken into care while you are designing as we'll discuss on moodle moodle is a latest platform that has come up for designing of this ji yeah so just ek minute mein shama chahunga ek announcement hai sabhi participant jo group gender group studies ye jo hai gender studies ke jo participant hai kindly apna group aap join kijiye ji एफ आई पी फोर के पार्टिसिपेंट इस ग्रुप में रहे बाकी जो पार्टिसिपेंट है दूसरे ग्रुप के वो अपना ग्रुप जो है ज्वाइन कर लें प्लीज थैंक यू सॉरी सर कोई प्रॉब्लम सर ओके सर सो दीज वि चैलेंजेस दैट वी डिस्कसिंग थ्रू आउट दी आर्किटेक्चर देन देर आर अदर चैलेंजेस ऑल्सो एज वी कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन लो स्टूडेंट रिटेंशन एंड कम्पिटिशन रेट दिस पॉइंट आई टुक अप इन दफ्टरनून ऑल्सो suppose 1000 students join and by the time the course is complete there are only 100 left now this is because of the kind of incompatibility that might be there uh, it might be a possibility that we are unable to reach to the needs of the candidates what the candidates wanted we never gave them that part digital literacy and a digital divide this is again a problem with our country if you look um, at our country it's 70% villages 60% villages so there is always a digital divide so once they go for the courses the students take up courses but by the time they enroll and see, they see there is a big divide between uh, the people from the towns or the people from the villages so they are unable to just pick up and out of inferiority complexes or whatever you call it they just back out from the course or they feel we are just a mismatch to this so these are the challenges which we we'll have we we will have to address and when we address we'll have to make moocs simple we'll have to keep moocs to a level where everyone is able to participate equally then the blue one is uh, another challenge linguistic diversity different languages you are definitely uh, making it for audience which are from different countries different culture different religions different ups and downs and so it will always be a big challenge fourth one seamless and affordable connectivity as we can see the example today i am trying to reach you but three or four times i have been interrupted not because you are not there i am not there we are there but we are unable to connect we are losing connections in between so moocs it will always be a challenge but we have to overcome all these challenges to make what we really want out of new education policy and all so if now we uh, will have a look at the screen on the screen where we will looking at swam now this is our moocs this is our country's own moocs you must have heard the name of swam this is a integrated national platform for online courses started by ugc and all and you would find them at your colleges there would be posters and on internet there are posters on swam so school undergraduate postgraduate engineering law and other professional courses they are benefiting out of swam if you read uh, the next two three moocs national commission uh, national committee and coordinators then moocs national institution parent institution for credit even so it's a uh, entire committee is there the site is there given and that site uh, <clears throat> you can always go to swam there are different courses available we'll discuss more on swam when we look at the statistics of swam so if you look at this i'll try to take you to the architecture of swam since this is our own moocs we'll be basically having a structure like this we just uh, move this from the screen okay <clears throat> So MOOC for SWAM MHRD course design is standardized and simplified. There are four quadrants visible to you. Just concentrate on quadrant number one. Quadrant number one: instructor-led material. These are the e-tutorials that uh, we were talking about. We have to design these in first quadrant. E-tutorials. Lot of expertise required to develop the e-tutorials, but we are doing it. And in fact, there are wonderful. people doing wonderful set of e tutorials they are very interactive tutorials they have 
graphical user interface where everything is window based it's all colored and uh, very soothing to the eyes if you want to study for hours you can just go through the material and study in our times when we used to have black and white only after a half an hour or one hour our eyes were shaky and we wanted some rest but here uh, the scheme color and the soothness is there that you can three or four hours we can uh, continuously study from the course material so if you look at the structure quadrant one then quadrant two self learning materials e content then there are self learning material uh, that we'll be talking about there will be exercises there would be uh, problems given you are going to solve them so from them you will have your self learning you will be given the assignments and all the contents there look at quadrant 3 assessment so in swim now in quadrant 3 you assess the student the candidate and once you do the assessment of sessionals of practicals whatever assessment is done then in quadrant 4 is the last one you have interactions sorry uh, this was coming uh, earlier than this quadrant 3 interactions and discussions after the material has been made you are imparting that having the discussion with the class and the last one is quadrant 4 which is assessment so once you assess the student the participant you will be given the certificates the qualified candidates will get the certificate so i uh, look go into the interesting part of MOOCs uh, statistics so if you look at uh, some of the uh, you call them some of the names on the screen which are very prevalent some of the icons are there you all are familiar edx is there udacity is there class central coursera future learn so all these are uh, platforms which are very popular let's see how popular they are if you look at the first one this name comes up there will be so many of your friends on linkedin on facebook always giving you the information like uh, we are doing we have completed a course from coursera this is a certificate this was six months course or a 15 days course and all so it's a wonderful platform coursera if you look at it there are 45 million users in this there are 3800 plus courses academic degrees and credit courses are there they're even imparting degrees specialized higher level programs are there so if you look at that blended learning model is there as i said in the morning also flip classroom flip teaching is there where you are doing the theory at home through the e-material and then when you come to the class when the teacher is with you instructor is with you you are solving the real life problems based on that data so if you look at this data this was coursera if you look at the second one this is edx founded by harvard university and mit in 2012 this has 2640 free online courses from 140 plus leading institutions including harvard mit microsoft and many more 24 million users are there and these are open source there are even uh, certificates in them which uh, don't have any cost there are cost uh, effective uh, modules also if you look at the third one udacity this is for profit educational company it um, provides training and placement 11 million registered users are there they even give you the training and they will even give you the placements they offer assistance in placements also they have an engagement with corporates there are vocational courses also so these are the names of uh, top ones i'll come to swim also you said i'll take you to swim again so 101 million uh, users learners 11400 plus courses universities 900 plus and if you look at the year 2012 it all started and now 2019 2020 you see the graph is at the top is at the highest peak so there are over 20 million users who are availing this facility so obviously MOOCs have gained a lot and during corona it has been a total revelation like the courses they have been because people sitting at home in lockdown they prefer to do courses they prefer to get more certificates ugc was there in fact mhrd was there they offered courses through 
uh, their platforms and the students or the teachers we have been doing the maximum so if you must have i think uh, if there are the teachers among us uh, we must have at least 15 to 20 certificates that we have collected during this period of covid times atal if you have taken atal uh, fdps so everyone must have had four or five certificates at least from atal so if a comparative if we take comparative aspect view of this you find all the companies here coursera edx audacity future learn and our own swam 10 million for swam 1000 courses degrees uh, they are yet to still we are into certification part where the students are now getting enrolled in certificate courses as i said in the morning uh, my college offered uh, this to the btech students like if they have to uh, forego the uh, project training they can clear two of the papers so my, some of my students who wanted instant one they opted for this so lots of options here now MOOCs, where are MOOCs popular? Which discipline do you think should have highest number of MOOCs? Engineering, technology, business, mathematics, arts and design, medicine and health, humanities, social sciences and science. Everywhere you will find MOOCs and their certifications now. This is the market. Business and technology has the highest of 19% share. The rest is still are picking up. Mathematics, two point something, social sciences, 11. So they are picking up. And by the time next year, uh, we should be having more on that. So more and more advertisements keep coming. You daily, uh, you see these kinds of uh, advertisements on the internet, in the newspapers, you all find that. Now, what is the future of this? <laughs> where are MOOC, uh, MOOCs headed for and the it is but obvious as the Prime Minister also said India will go a long way with the AI introduction so obviously AI and machine learning based education is picking up now and China has the first AI powered adaptive education provider in China so that's where we are heading for something from artificial intelligence like uh, it would be uh, the system will learn on its own so right now we are doing it manually but by the time next another four five years and ai would be championing the issue so <clears throat> this was a part on the presentation i'll come to the chat part there i'll take your questions also and i'll discuss how we are going to talk of moodle Just look into the chat window. I have typed a word. In the meantime, you'll start thinking about your questions that you're going to ask me. I know this has been a long session for you. I've been busy since morning and 3.30 is a time where you would want some rest also. So look into the chat window. I have a word Moodle. This Moodle is one of the LMS learning management system, which is taking uh, software industry, which is taking education industry by strong. Moodle is the word. Uh, M is modular. When we say modular, we are talking about uh, programming in uh, the complete programming done in form of modules. Object oriented, if someone is from computers, object oriented is a programming paradigm where we talk about reusability, we talk about classes and objects. So in a way, this is making uh, the system Moodle and uh, it is the website. You can all check on this, what we discussed today. It is Moodle.org. And it will take hardly 15 minutes to install this. Uh, I've last time also requested, uh, mm, sir, 
for this uh, and if i can get a session sometime for the development and installation of this i'll definitely be teaching that also to you in the next maybe next when you do it so it's a wonderful part and you would be able to develop moodle for your own organization at least you can have for your own sessional subject for your own subject that you are teaching so in a way you won't have to be dependent on others and then if uh, someone asks you to make it for your own college you can always go for that so this is a platform moodle platform which is very popular now for developing it and it hardly takes around half an hour to just configure everything and just start with that there are so many colleges in delhi which are already using this our own janmi hamdur is using it now and we are now working on moodle also learning software so now i will open up for the questions any one of you has any question for me sorry it has been very interruptive today but now i think the net is working correctly so i'm on the cam also you can ask the questions in fact you can just interact it's not a question it's just a discussion that we are doing any questions for the session I'll be passing the slides to Pawan sir. Anyone? Ji, ji, if anyone have any question or any observation, so house is open. आप पूछ सकते हैं. I'm putting my mail ID also. If you wish to offline, you want to ask anything, you can offline also ask that. I'd be more than happy to help. as far as mooks is concerned i think sir koi question nahi hai aapne itna acche se sab wo matlab jo hai clear kar diya hai topic ko na sir wo thoda sa delay ho gaya hai aapne apna email id aur jo contact details hai wo share kar di hai in future koi doubt hota so they can contact to you Yes, मैं बताना चाहूंगा कि सर जो है 24 इंटू सेवन जो है हेल्प के लिए तैयार रहते हैं तो जस्ट ड्रॉप ए ईमेल एंड ही विल रिस्पॉन्ड क्विकली या आई बी देयर सर थैंक यू सो मच सर देन शुड आई लॉग आउट सर नहीं नहीं सर आपका इस सेशन के लिए हम बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद प्रकट करते हैं सभी पार्टिसिपेंट की तरफ से हमारी निर्देशिका डॉक्टर शेफाली नागपाल मैम की तरफ से और हमारे पूरी ऑर्गेनाइजिंग टीम की तरफ से आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद की आपने कीमती समय निकाला कि जैसे हम कल प्लानिंग कर रहे थे एंड और आपने हमारा इनविटेशन जो एक्सेप्ट करा तो आपका बहुत बहुत आभार व्यक्त करते हैं और इन फ्यूचर भी हम आपको अपने जो है एच और अपने भगत फूल सिंह महिला विश्वविद्यालय में इनवाइट करते हैं सर तो आइए आपका स्वागत करें